welcome back to another M Crater lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is getting the basic growth mechanic set up for the the crops, the rice crops. And then we'll be working on uh, the uh, basic um, or more advanced uh, crop uh, growth system based on the um, the soil composition and all that other stuff. However, uh, at the moment, what I'm just doing is I'm just making sure that um, I have all the things set up that I need to for the um, the actual project itself. So I wanted to make sure the tags were set up, and then I started working on the um, actual script for, I believe, the growth of the crop itself. Uh, this is on the update tick procedure. So basically what this will do is <clears throat> uh, I was working, I like basically I wanted it to grow on a certain, um, I think it was light level. So I wanted to make sure that the light level was uh, set up properly. Now, I, this was a little bit different than what I was going to go do. Like I was wanted to get the light level of um nine like regular crops have but uh then i realized that uh, it might not shine through the block all the time so uh depending on the light level of the exact location so i wanted to make a condition that would basically go ahead and allow me to test for the block um next to the block it's basically of the crop and test if that value is equal to or greater than 10 so if it's that value then probably the next value would be probably nine right uh this is the first block is basically the one that is going above the block and then i needed to test for the um east and west directions so basically the other script i'm doing is basically when i am when I'm testing for if it's equal to or greater than eight, uh, that's basically going to allow me to test if um, there's a value between these two values. So that's basically what I'm doing there. And um, it should work uh, with all different directions and stuff. And then I just basically put this on a return value, save the procedure so I could go ahead and import it into a different one. So I needed to go to the crops and then I, I just created a um, basic, I think I, I messed up. I was going to type the, I made a folder by accident and what I needed was actually like a procedure. So <laughs> that was kind of like an accident. And then I just basically imported that and then we can use this for other crops in the future as well because then if we need to make adjustments to the script later on we can always update all the crops that use it so that will be a lot easier than um, worrying about the particular going into each procedure and stuff so we can always just update one procedure. All right, so the other things that I wanted to do was set up the update tick. Now I needed to get that condition so I basically wanted an and statement. And then I was going to test for that condition. So that would be the first thing that we need to test for. And then I wanted to also test for a few other things. Um, there was, I believe, the biome that I wanted to test for. So basically, if the it's in a specific biome. Uh, I'm, I haven't quite tested to see if this actually works or not. Um, I will probably test it next episode just or off camera just to kind of see if it does um, indeed grow with this particular condition but um, at the moment I'm not sure if that it, it's in working order but I will be testing it pretty soon so I wanted to create the biomes uh, for this list to be planes we'll probably create a forest one uh, later on but um, basically I just wanted the um, tag so we could basically use that for where the block is located uh, that should allow us to force people to grow the crop in that particular biome which will um, allow the update tick to only work when it's uh, doing that particular thing now the other thing that I wanted to do is I was thinking about setting up a, a timer for basically the growth but then I'm like, okay, later on, I'm like sitting there after I get all the components set up and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, well, I could do an MBT timer or I could just base it on the 
the day time. So basically every day that it will basically update, it will be on a more um, linear scale. Uh, it will have the time update with the game itself. So if the day turns to morning, if the player sleeps or whatever, then it will update to the exact proper time. Now, there is some issues with the uh, script for regarding the um, the actual uh, sleeping in beds in second dimensions and stuff. We'll fix that in another update. We'll probably fix that next update. We still have some other things that we minor things that we have to work on for the crops themselves. We still need seeds for the rice. And we need to set up the uh, dropping properties for the um, two particular things. We need uh, rice seeds and then we need one for uh, better yield for the rice seeds as well. So um, I'm not sure how rice actually works, if rice is the actual seed or if it's just um, the grain part. I'll have to look into that. But um, basically what we'll end up doing is the, the second tier of harvesting will have a higher yield and then it will go into its dead form. So basically that's the concept that I'll have uh, if it's a thing. So uh, the next thing that I needed to do was basically set up all the properties for these blocks. And because they're currently on uh, tick updates, uh, we will have to update the blocks themselves and uh, set up the properties so they were on a static tick timer. So every tick that they'll be tested for. Um, now basically what I'm working on at the moment is getting the blocks set up. So as you can see, I have the mod value. The mod value allows us to take a dynamic value that uh, constantly increases and turn it into a value that is within a range of a, or a cycle of 24. And then we're testing for the first tick of that. So the first tick would be at the uh, time when it when the player wakes up, uh, that will be at zero. So the first tick after that, we're going to basically go ahead and run the script. Now there's a few different orders why I'm having it set up the way it is. I'm testing for the time. Uh, that way it's only gonna run at one point in time. And then I'm testing if it's in a specific biome. That's the second condition. And then the next condition I wanna test for the light. And then finally the block that it is. So that's basically what I'm doing there uh, for this particular script. Uh, that should handle the um, the order pretty well. Now I have all the different um, textures. I'm just basically specified the block itself. So this will allow us to know what block needs to be updated. So this particular one will be the dead stage and then we'll have the um, basically I'll just update to the next stage when these conditions are true. So I um, just have to go ahead and replace all these um, blocks in here with our stage before that. And then it will allow us to basically upgrade the plant itself. So that's basically the procedure that I have set up for the update tick. Uh, it should be good enough for well, mostly good for the bone meal one as well. Uh, we'll need to make some changes to the bone meal script in just a couple minutes, but just looking over the properties and seeing how we can probably improve this a little bit. So we don't need the block added, at least not yet. And then we needed to go ahead and go to advanced properties and basically set up all the uh, tick tick values so they were um, not using the random tick and we're using a one tick um, basically delay that will allow us to make sure that it will always run on that particular time so that's why I'm setting it up and I had to go through all the stages and do that um, I was going to set it up to a random uh, tick delay but I think it will work better if it's uh, when the player wakes up in the morning it will have um, the basic uh, crops that it will like it will upgrade the stage I think that will be better and then people will be able to skip through the night and stuff if they want to 
All right, so that part's done. Uh, the next thing that we needed to do was just going through these. Uh, we need to set up the bone meal properties and I'm gonna remove that so it's just rice crop. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and set a value for a condition if it is equal to or less than 45 and we're going to use a random integer number between 1 and 100 that will give us the random uh, percent for bone meal and uh, then we can set up the script to actually successfully uh, grow this so I had to go back and get uh, I believe the procedure for what was it the uh, growth properties for the update tick and then we're going to use that as our base model and update just some properties in the success procedure so basically I want just the block and I want the biome these are the only two things that I want to take in consideration because using bone meal on items uh, it doesn't really matter what part like what light level uh, it is and it's not going to really work well if it's only at the first tick of the day so uh, we don't need those two extra blocks but we do need to test for the block itself and the biome that it's in uh, this will allow us to grow the plant quite efficiently so all right so that's basically it we can drop it onto there and then it's all set up already for what we need so we can go ahead and continue on to making the um, adding a few different extra features I want to add particles to the um, growth for when the player right clicks with a bone meal so for example we'll spend we'll use the server side one and then we'll basically say composter and then we'll set the uh, speed of one and we'll just set all these to one as well uh, we'll actually set this to 0 0.5 just so it's a little bit lower and then we can go ahead and drop this on all of the different blocks here. So every time that it grows up to a basic another stage, it will basically go ahead and show the particles of it growing. So next, I wanted to make sure that it runs on server side because we are using a server side block. And uh, this is just basically what I'm doing is it's not on client side, which means it will be on server side. Um, Basically, that means that the, it will run on the game, not the client, so it won't be specific to the client that is playing, and it will have more compatibility when it's on multiplayer. So if there's more than one person, it would run two instances if it was on client or compared to one on server. So, uh, But server is also synced between players as well in most cases, so uh, they'll still be able to see the update. All right, so that part's done. We have this. I just want to make sure that this is run on server side as well because we are using a random uh, integer block and this might only be able to run on server side. And I'm just going to basically go ahead and make sure everything else is running on server side as well uh, just so everything is consistent and we're not taking up performance for both client and server. All right, so once we've done that, I could go in game and I could t basically test the uh, system. I've laid down a bunch of seeds. Well, this the first stage. At the moment, we don't actually have seeds, so we're going to have to make that in the next video. But I'm going to just try to sleep here. And like I said before, uh, there's some t sort of bug that's within um, custom dimensions where you try to sleep and it doesn't update the thing. We'll fix that in another video. Um, probably the one with uh, updating but at the moment what we're going to do is we're just going to update it manually and we're going to set it to night day a couple times and then every day it should update the um, stage on the first tick so as you can see here it's working really efficiently so we'll do that through all the actual ticks themselves and this is the first rice stage, so um, it's basically what it will look like when it's ready for harvesting. Depending if the rice is actually the seed or not, um, there might be, um, this might be the seed level, and then we'll use the other one for the grains, which will be a little bit different. But I don't know too much about rice, so I'll have to look into what the, um, what rice actually is, if it's a seed or not. And yeah, and that's the basically the dead one. The dead one won't really offer too much. It's just basically 
broken, but we will fix the bed condition. And I think there's some issues with the actual, um, the breaking of the crops themselves. I recall Mojang basically using a little bit of a larger hitbox. So we might be able to try uh, basically making it a little bit bigger because when I was breaking these, it was a little bit difficult because you can't really hit past it. So I'm almost wondering if there needs to be like a half slab or something like that for the hitbox. I'm not really sure what the actual thing is. I'll have to look at the vanilla crops um, and look at their hitboxes and see if there's any real difference with um, how they're being broken and stuff because it does feel a little awkward breaking these. So I wanted to make sure that it feels more consistent and with the base game and how the breaking properties actually are. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I just went ahead and fixed up the, the tilled soil so we can go ahead and get ready for another plant. And I went ahead and just replanted it for uh, testing next time. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.